Hello and welcome to this episode of Danny's Tips. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to achieve the sign and pink cyberpunk look in Adobe Lightroom CC. This retrofuturistic look works amazing for nighttime city states. You'll learn how to shift the hue drastically, far beyond what Lightroom allows you to do with the basic HSL adjustment. Then you'll learn how to add contrast with the tone curve. And finally, you'll learn an incredibly cool trick that combines two settings to create a diffuse low effect. By the way, you're not limited to pink and cyan. This technique can be used to create a lot of other color combinations. So if you're interested, keep watching to find out how to do it. Before we begin, I just want to let you know that I have some Cyberpunk Lightroom presets that you can download for free. There are three presets, and they're made with the same technique that you'll learn in this video. There's also a pro version. If you upgrade to a pro version, and thank you so much for your support by the way, you will unlock all 10 presets. The presets in the pro version are fadable, so you can pick something lighter or stronger depending on what you want. You also get LUTs that you can use in other software like Photoshop, Affinity Photo, Adobe Premiere, and more. You can find the links in the video description below. But whether or not you're using the presets, I highly recommend watching this video to the end because you're going to learn a lot in a short amount of time. First, we're going to shift the hue. Typically, you would do this in the HSL section, but it won't let you shift the colors far enough. So in these situations, you can push it beyond the limitations in the camera calibration section. I will start by shifting the reds all the way towards the left which will push the colors towards pink. Next, shift the greens towards the right to get the purple and cyan colors. You can also play around with the other settings such as the saturation adjustments. If you want to change the balance between cyan and pink, you can easily do it with the white balance adjustment. Simply drag the slider towards the left or right to get the balance that you want. Next, we're going to add some contrast in the tone curve section. This tool has two modes, and you can switch by clicking on this icon here. You want to be in the point curve mode which will give you much more flexibility and it will let you create more advanced adjustments. For beginners, imagine that the tone curves look like this with the gradient in the background. Start by adding three points to a line like this. It should align with the grid in the background. Drag the second point downwards to darken the shadows. Then drag the fourth point upwards to brighten the highlights. You can also drag the bottom left point upwards to lift the blacks, which will create an effect like this. But for my image, I'm going to leave it at the bottom. Now we're going to tint the shadows and highlights using the same tone curve adjustment. In the drop down menu, select the blue channel. Drag the bottom left point upwards which will tint the shadows blue. Next, drag the top right point downwards to tint the highlights yellow. Finally, we're going to increase the clarity setting. There's two ways you can go about this. First, you can increase the clarity to give your photo that really sharp and high detailed look. Or you can create a diffuse glow effect by lowering the clarity. But when you lower the clarity, it makes your entire image look soft. So to counteract this, you can go into the effects section and increase the dehaze setting. This will bring back some of the contrast in the shadows and focus most of the diffuse glow effect in the bright areas. We're done. Here's how the image looks like before and after. This technique can also be used to create many other looks. And here are some examples.
Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please remember to hit the like button. Also, I want to thank you so much for helping this channel reach over 15,000 subscribers. That's incredible. You know, when I first started my business, I created a website teaching people how to use Photoshop. And now, over a decade later, I'm still able to do the same thing. So thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to do what I always love to do. Anyways, I hope you have an amazing day. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.